Congratulations, you are almost done with Unit 1, Module 1, whatever we're going to call it, of this course. Uh, you've worked through so far in this unit on how to use Scratch as a logo-like environment. So we've looked at motion and moving the cat around on the screen and using pen up and pen down to control the cat on the screen. And now you're almost done. You simply have three things left that you have to do. You have to complete a homework assignment. You have to submit it for peer review. And then you have to be a good peer and conduct some peer reviews on some of your classmates. But this particular lesson is only on completing the homework assignment and submitting it for peer review. Lesson 19 will teach you how to actually conduct a peer review. Now, as is often the case with these kinds of videos, when I make assignments, I'll frequently have a video that goes with it. And, and that's okay. Uh, this is below your, your screen here. Um, so if we look, I'm going back to the website here, you know, here's where the video is for this particular lesson and what you're watching right now. And if you scroll down below that, you'll see that there is the instructions for this homework assignment. And I'll always give you detailed instructions in writing, but I often like to walk through them in a video. And so that's what I'm doing here. What I'd like you to do with this particular homework assignment is to show us that you've learned how to use Scratch as logo to use motion and pen to draw out your three initials, right? Okay, I recognize that not all of you are going to have three, initi three initials. One or two of you are only going to have two initials. Some of you may have, you know, four initials. That's okay. But we want you to draw out your initials. So I'm going to actually switch over to Scratch. In my particular case, my full name is John Benjamin Schaefer. And so uh, I'm going to start with a clear screen. And when I press the green flag, the cat's going to erase the screen and then draw out my three initials. Uh, in my case, it did it pretty quickly. I didn't put in any pauses. Uh, you don't see it gliding around. It just does it. But again, when I press the green flag, we start over from scratch and we draw out my three initials. And that's it. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. You can do it entirely with block letters and straight lines. So you'll notice here, I didn't curve my J or my B or my S. I mean, all three of my letters could have had curves in them. I didn't do that. You can feel free to do it. Be as creative with this as you want. Use color, play with pen control, whatever you want to do. Um, but, but realistically, what I have on the screen night right now is the bare set of instructions for this and the bare set of requirements. I've satisfied this assignment with that result. And that's great. So step one, you're going to produce your code. You're going to save it as homework one. And then you're going to want to submit it for uh, peer review. And so the way you do that is once it's all done, once it's all ready to go, and again, the directions for this are on this page, just down a little bit. But once you're all ready to go, you're going to come back over into the page for the program that you want to submit for peer review, review, and you're going to press this share button right here. And what that does is it makes this program publicly available to every single user on Scratch. Um, and so, you know, you want to do this a little bit sparingly if you don't want to share something with, with people. You only want to do it when it's all done because it shares exactly what's there. And, and I should point this out. It actually shares uh, your, it's, it's kind of like sharing a Google Doc while you're in the middle of editing the Google Doc. When I hit share, I basically put up a link to this file. And now if I go back in and start modifying this file, people don't see the program the way it was when I shared it. They see whatever it looks like right now. So be aware of that. When you share your assignment for peer review, you want to be done tinkering with it. And if you want to work with it a little bit more later, that's fine. Uh, but then make a copy of it and tinker with the copy. Uh, so just be careful with that. OK, well, once I hit the share button, I get this screen right here where I get an opportunity to put in any instructions. Right? So I actually already had in here press the green flag to see my initials. You can put in any notes and credits here. So if you got an idea from somebody, if you remixed a project from somebody, we haven't talked about remixing yet. That comes, I believe, in the next unit. But you can put all that here. But this now becomes ready to share with everybody. And so now once you're done with that, now what I want you to do 
once it's shared, is to come back to the homework page and come down toward the bottom of the homework page, and there will be a link here in the middle, and in this particular assignment, it's kind of buried. It won't be as buried in, in future assignments, but it'll say, navigate to the studio for this page. And so what I'm gonna do is click on this studio, and this takes me out to a studio where everybody in our class has the ability to post their programs. And so you're going to go in here and you're going to click Add Projects. And as soon as I click on that Add Projects, what I get at the bottom of the screen is a, a, a listing of every program that I currently have shared, typically in the order that you've shared them. And so the last program I shared was this Homework 1, my initials. And so I can click Add Share on it. And there it is. There's JBS by you and I Scratch. And of course, this will fill up with uh, shared programs as the, the course goes on. At the moment, there's just these two programs. But there it is. Now it's all ready for peer review. Anybody else can come into this uh, particular studio, this particular gallery of programs, and can go in and look at one of these programs, can leave comments on it, um, can, can give you encouragement, can say, that's really cool. How did you do that? Um, and in our case, we're going to do peer review. We're actually going to put some very specific comments in there that kind of assist with the checking in of assignments for this. So that's it. Hopefully, you won't spend too much time doing this and you've learned a lot about how this is going to work. So get your homework assignment done, share it to the gallery, and we'll move on then to the next video where you learn how to conduct a peer review.